what a month it has been guys the sales are all over the place for the month of december 395 and november 28th so let's find december 1st december 1st 383 326 then we got a 668 then we got a three five five 392 all over the place we got a couple of high 700s here christmas eve 114 not very impressive at all but yesterday we did 529 dollars and today it's 941 and we're already at 174 uh for the day so kind of finishing off sort of kind of strong not necessarily 114 and then we had 170 and with me being at 174 for the nine o'clock almost 10 o'clock hour it's kind of looking promising today so we'll see how the day finishes out um what did you what is you guys overall um experience with the month of december i feel like you know q4 was just a real bummer this year which is kind of to be expected but at the same time with days that are in the 500s um like this and then on even on christmas christmas i did 468 in the last few hours of the day uh but all of christmas was bad but I compared my numbers to last year around this time last year around this time i was selling more items much more items um so what are you guys' thoughts how did you feel that december has rounded itself out um moving forward i know we got to make changes i know we have to and some of us don't have to make changes let me take that back but if we want to continue to grow there's going to have to be different things that we do um to combat the way that things are I'm in the mindset, it's all my fault, right? I can't really place the blame on eBay for any of this stuff. eBay's a robot, you know what I mean? eBay is a robot, it's an algorithm. It's not, you know, something that a human is doing. So at the end of the day, there's only so much control that we have when it comes to using the platform, right? So it's up to us to find the items that are the best items that we can find that sell as fast as possible. And that way we can maximize the results that we put in there's nuance to that because you could be selling the most in-demand electric you know devices games you know some type of hype electronics and have you know really incredible sales all year round and you're not phased by any of this for a clothing seller with basic stuff um sales are going to be all over the place the days of old where you could just list random things don't exist anymore uh so we're gonna go into the orders that need to go out today 23 of these orders are going out today i'm gonna show you guys what's selling so we got a j crew men's large just a basic t-shirt striped t-shirt sold for 12 dollars and we have this um american eagle henley t-shirt men's 2xl and that sold for five dollars i had it listed for 10 got an old navy medium pearl snap button-up shirt and that is a men's and it sold for 15 bucks university of minnesota gophers hoodie uh that is a men's large and that sold for 20 bucks got this under armor hoodie right here uh, this is a men's large and that sold for fourteen dollars and forty cents and we got this vintage well it's not vintage i mean we got this blank hanes her way soft sweats uh sweatshirt that sold for eight bucks that's an extra large so uh this morning i was reading in the bible where Jonah was running from God. God told him to go to Nineveh. Jonah was like, I ain't doing it. Uh, he hopped on a ship and tried to escape to a different place. And God caused a serious storm on the ship to like disrupt his path, right? And I feel like the Bible, you know, it's alive and breathing, right? So I apply everything I do in life to what the word of God says. And so in your business, when you do things that aren't according to the way that eBay wants them done or aren't according to the way that your buyer wants to buy an item. So say you're listing items that the buyer isn't looking for. That's disrupting the sea of eBay, right? And so you're going to come and throw all this random crap in your store. 
that nobody's even looking for. And it's going to make you spend money, you, you know, you spent on inventory that you're not recouping. So there's no ROI happening there because your money's just sitting on the shelf. Now you're short on capital. Now you got to go into your own personal money to buy more inventory of more items that don't sell. And so now you got this disruption in your business. There's no cash flow. There's no sales going out the door. And now you're angry. Now that's bleeding over into your normal life. And this is called a storm, right? See where I'm going with this? So when you walk in accordance to what you're supposed to do as far as putting items in your store that a buyer is actually looking for, you're going to surprise sell items. What does that mean? Now you got cash flow. What does that mean? Now you're happier. Now your work life balance is on par. Your relationships outside of eBay are flourishing because you're a happy camper. You know what I mean? You're selling items. What you're doing is working. And so we get too wrapped up in the in the thing of I got to list items. No one ever said you have to just list random items. The best way to do eBay is to list good items that are in demand that sell for the price range that you want them to. And it doesn't get much simpler than that. Don't overcomplicate eBay. If you sold it once, you can sell it again. Sometimes brands don't matter. Sometimes styles do. Where someone said something about me changing my mind about Faded Glory. Well, not all Faded Glory is created equal. Some Faded Glory can sell for $25, $35, $40. Fifty dollars for the right pair of vintage faded glory jeans. I don't make the rules, guys. A buyer is going to pay what they're willing to pay. So I can't be in the mindset of I'm not going to pick up faded glory. I'm not going to pick up most faded glory, but I'll pick up some. You know what I mean? So when it's all said and done, I don't make the rules. I just follow them. Um, and if you follow the rules, too, and if you do what's, what eBay is requiring you to do, in 2024, we should be able to turn this uh, rocky road, this off course ship that we're in um, around. Got an American Eagle puffer jacket. This is a men's large. So for $15, I believe. No, $16. Got some Tommy sweatpants, Tommy Hilfiger sweatpants. Men's extra large. Says something about Tommy Hilfiger baseball on it. So for 11 bucks. This is the item in the video yesterday that I declined the offer on. I declined the offer for $14 on a $25 item. The buyer came back and paid full price for it. The bad part about it is he bought the top to it as well, the jacket that goes with it, for another 40 bucks. And then, like a couple hours later, he asked me to cancel the order on the jacket. He bought the pants, he canceled on the jacket, but I declined the offer and he then turned around and paid full price. But just goes to show you, you know, sometimes, man, you don't have to accept stupid offers or even counter on an offer. Sometimes people are just fishing to see what type of lowball offers you're willing to accept. I ain't in the mood to play games, though, so I decline. This is a vintage U.S. Navy Sea something, Sea Warrior, I don't know, some type of shirt. Um, Sold for 25, nope, so, so sorry, sold for 11. Vin oh, U.S. Navy, not Old Navy. Sea Wolf shirt, men's 2XL, sold for 11 bucks. And then this is a Webster University sweatshirt. Um, Webster University is the... T I grew up in the town of Webster Groves in, in St. Louis, Missouri. It's like... Um, man, I don't... It's bougie, guys. It's kind of bougie. Um, this is the, the university uh, in that town. And it sold for $17 to someone in St. Louis. So it's going right back to St. Louis. Um, and I pick up that stuff all the time. Any university, any college, you know, attire. Not just the sports stuff, not the NCAA stuff. But people that are alumni, like if you've graduated from a college, you love that college. Even if you've been out of that college for 40 years, you have this uh, emotional attachment to times when, you know, you were younger and life was sweet and things were fun. And, you know, that's nostalgia. So I pick up all that stuff because someone's gone to a college everywhere, somewhere at some point in time. And so somebody will buy that stuff. Um, that's all very quickly, um, I guess, due to the best match of it being a local search. Um, but don't pass up on stuff like that, guys. Somebody out there wants to, you know, have those memories. I wear my high school hoodie. Not that I had while I was in high school, but anytime I find Webster Groves high school stuff, I pick it up and I'm 40 years old and I'm wearing high school attire. I've never gone to college, so I don't wear college stuff, but 
you know, it's just nostalgic. It helps me, you know, have fond memories and I'm no different than anybody else. So over the last three years going into four now, this is the start of my fourth year on eBay. Uh, I've learned quite a few things, learned a lot of hard lessons and I learned a lot of things that just come from the experience of doing it every day for three, almost four years now. Um, going into this new year, um, with it being uncharted territory, it can be scary for someone that's just getting started though. So if you guys want help starting out on your eBay career or either just taking it to the next level, there's a link down below for a seven day free trial for the Patreon road to six figures. You can come over there and let me help you out. See how I can help you grow. Uh, we have Bo Johnson in there as well. So we can see how you guys can get help from us. We're six figure resellers that have done this multiple years in a row now. And uh, we'd just like to really help you guys shorten the learning curve. And um, if that seems like something you're into, make sure you check that link out down below. Seven days, you can't beat it. Try it out. If it's not a right fit for you, you can just cancel. Um, but at least come on over there, check us out, get a story view, see if it's something that, you know, can fit you. And you can write it off as a tax deduction. And we're at the end of the year. What better time to sign up than now? So jump into some more of these items. Two, we got a vintage ride it like you stole it. Yeah, I know that's some biker stuff. Two, 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 four, six. Two, 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 four, six. So we got some of this newer inventory over here getting sold. Two, two. 246 Alrighty Right here uh, Right like you stole it It's got some Skull head biker Riding Riding it like you stole it And that sold for How much That's uh, Men's 3XL And it sold for $15 So pretty quick sell Pretty pleased with it if you guys want to get your inventory system with the bags, the SKUs, the boxes, everything, there's a link down below in the description. You guys can order all the same products I use on Amazon. You know, I've done the heavy lifting for you. It's a tried and true tested inventory system. And I've got about 9,100 items stored here in this facility. Um, and you can, you can sell even more. Or you can store even more, I'm sorry. Next item is an employee. Crew neck and uh, McDonald's shirt, 22328. 22328. I sell almost all employee stuff, guys. Um, McDonald's hamburgers. This shirt sold for $15. I never pass up on employee stuff because it's always cheaper to get it online than it is to get a new one from your, your boss. They'd be taxing at work for uniforms, man. I used to work at McAllister's. And a t-shirt there was like $25. Uh, maybe it was, it, was, it was even more than that. But they took it out of your check, which was the only way that I was able to get it done because I was broke in those days. So I got these rag and bone jeans, women's 29. Those sold for 15 bucks. You guys can't see it because the way the jeans are folded up, but there's like fraying in between the legs and puckering on the front that I didn't notice uh, when I bought them. So 15 bucks and they sold within a couple of days. Agave shirt. Agave is a decent brand. Um, this is a men's 2XL and it sold for $16. Uh, that sold very quick as well. So there's a comment on last, on yesterday's video. I'm going to read it to you guys. The guy said, or the person said, 2024 is going to be a catch up year. Curbing my spending and getting all my stuff listed. I'm still having trouble streamlining my operation. I still did pretty good this year, much better than I expected. Congratulations. Big shout out to you for doing better than you thought you did. Uh, but the streamlining of processes, I understand that all too well because I used to not, you know, know how to list items fast. When I start listing 90 a day, you kind of got to get faster. You know what I mean? Um, but let me know, I put it in, I replied to this comment and told this person to let me know how I could help you streamline, streamline your processes. Cause now I just work a couple days a week. I work three days a week. I do all the week's work in those three days. And then I just launch listings from the draft bank all week long. Let me know how I can help. I would love to help you streamline your processes. Cause at the end of the day, nobody wants to do eBay every day, all day. I tried that. I know it, I know it works. I don't want to do that though. It's miserable. So let me help you 
how can I help you? And I want to help you. So tell me, ask me whatever questions you need to, to help uh, so that I can provide that value for you. So now I'm going to get into a couple of older items that have sold. Uh, and then we got one jacket that sold uh, fairly quick as well, but it's put up in a tote. So I got three items. Let me pull these real quick. So these are the last three items. This is a uh, St. Louis Rams, vintage St. Louis Rams t-shirt. That is a men's large and it sold for $16. Got a Columbia PFG boys hoodie. That sold, that's a youth large and it sold for $6.50 on a best offer. And we got these Buffalo David Bitten pants, Biden, however you pronounce it. Those are a men's 38. And they sold for 25 bucks. And then I got this jacket that I want to show you guys uh, as well. Now these these items right here would have been on sale for 70% off due to the age of them uh, according to the old markdown sale. Now I know you guys are probably like, well you could be selling more old items if you were just priced them you know, on sale. I'm going to continue finishing this year out without the markdown sale. And then what I might do just to pop, kick off the new year with a bang is to do the oldest items or older items on sale for 20% off and consider turning off my coupon just to see how it converts. I may leave them both on though. I may turn on the 20% off sale and leave the 20% off offer or the 20% off coupon on. I don't know yet though, because the old items have still been selling okay. So I don't feel like it's totally necessary. Now this is the last item going out. It's called um, what's the name of this? Hunting Horn. It's just a leather jacket, and it sold for. It's a men's large, and it sold for thirty bucks. Uh, I did have it listed for forty-five. I sent an offer for twenty percent off, and then someone countered with thirty bucks. So I'm like, yeah, let's go, let's do it. So. Uh, I'll throw that into um, a big gigantic poly bag and ship it ground advantage which is the way that I've been doing my jackets and big items and I've been saving a crap ton of money just by shipping items ground advantage that are bigger um, versus shipping them in uh, priority mail or like having to put it in a, fl a flat rate box and it's been working just fine for me so far nobody's been complaining about it or anything so really hopeful and thankful um, that I've been able to do this stuff all year long for the third year in a row We'll see what 2024 has in store for us. Um, this is the last video of the year, guys. Really appreciate all the new subscribers, all the new support. You guys have helped me grow this channel by thousands of subscribers this year. I could have not seen this coming, so very thankful. I love all you guys, man. Uh, hope you guys have a prosperous 2024. Uh, yeah, so that's going to do it for this one. Hope you guys have a great holiday weekend and uh, stay safe, man, for real. That's going to do it for this one. Catch you guys on the next one. Until then, let's make this cash, guys. See you in 2024. Peace.